Storm Tracker Weather with meteorologist Eric Ash. So yesterday, here's what happened. This imagery goes back to yesterday, this loop right here. You see during the daytime, we popped up and developed a lot of showers and thunderstorms across all regions, especially the Central Mountains. Upper Snake River Plain caught it pretty hard and to include the Southeast Highlands as well, catching a plume later on as well that we're dealing with the remnants of because for the past six hours here, the activity in Central Mountains has wrapped itself up, so precipitation and cloud coverage is moving out. But for the Eastern Highlands, we still have some precipitation still hanging around, especially around Jackson, Du Bois, and then moving on for what to expect for today. We're going to be a it's going to be a drier day today. We're not expecting afternoon storms. The only place where there is a possibility for some afternoon showers or thunderstorms will be up in Lemhi County during the afternoon time frame and then also in northwest Wyoming as well towards Island Park possibly too but other than that we're going to have a mostly sunny day with light winds. Our winds are expected to be between 7 and 12 miles per hour and then towards the corridor between Arco Desert, Craters, Snake River Plain area, we'll have gusts between 20 and 25 miles per hour. Our temperatures are still just slightly below average and that's due to a couple cold fronts that have met, moved through the area bringing us cold air, cold air behind the cold front. 87 is the high for Pocatello, 85 is the high for Idaho Falls. So we're going to have a lot of 70s and 80s today for our highs. A lot of 80s for the Southeast Highlands, mostly sun, breezier conditions and in the Central Mountains, the chance of a storm, especially for Lemhi County in the afternoon time frame, 70s and lower 80s for highs. Eastern Highlands, chance of a storm, especially towards the north there around Yellowstone or Island Park. Temperatures mostly in the 70s here with Yellowstone having a high temperature of 68 degrees. For the evening hours, we'll all become mostly clear. Pocatello has a minimum temperature of 55 degrees. Idaho Falls, 48. Most of our locations are going to have our min temperatures in the 50s and 40s, such as the Southeast Highlands, 50s and 40s here. And we'll stay with a little bit of a breeze as well. Haze will move back in, especially for Custer County due to those wildfires. And so do anticipate uh, degraded air quality uh, after the afternoon time frame. For the Eastern Highlands, temperatures will all be in the 40s, 43 for Yellowstone, Jackson, and Afton. The warmest here for a mid temp will be Driggs at 49. And now here's your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. Pocatello, a high of 87, will be mostly dry today for all regions, for most regions today, except for Lemhi County, Northeast Idaho, and Northwest Wyoming. Those are the only locations that have a chance of catching an isolated thunderstorm or a rain rain shower in the afternoon or early evening. And then tomorrow will be mostly dry as well, except towards the evening time. Around 6 p.m., give or take one or two hours to the left or to the right of it, do anticipate monsoonal moisture to return to Idaho, and we will see showers and thunderstorms again, especially on Sunday and Monday onward into the week as well, but especially for Sunday and Monday. Back to you, Deanne. Right, thank you, Eric.